What's up guys? It's that time again. Vicky's hungry. Let's get some food. So we were supposed to get some takeout, but everything we wanted was closed on a Sunday. Um, it's kind of weird. So I, I rummaged around the freezer and I found this. Good old dumplings. Very simple. Hot pan, hot oil, you just throw the dumplings on. Just get them in there. Two minutes in, flip them. Another two minutes in, you flip it again. About eight, eight to ten minutes. So every two, two minutes or so, you flip them. Keep them, keep them. I'm kind of lazy to flip them. Nice, nice charring in there. So the secret of making it pancake-like is you throw a little bit of cornstarch into the whole mix. And then the water with the cornstarch. Let's, uh, let's figure this up and make it look kind of fancy. Oh man, look how pretty that looks. It's like a little sun. Poured in. I need more. I got round two. Let's try this again. Turn up that heat. Just wait it out. Well, all that cornstarch has evaporated. Looks like it's created a pretty nice crust. Uh, just a little bit over there. Flip the plate. And hope for the best. Oh, look at that. I think it looks better right side up. <laughs> and forget the gyoza sauce. That goodness. And we are good to go. Whoa, so food is ready. What is this? It smells so good. These are bulgogi beef beef dumplings. Beef dumplings? How come it looks like a pancake? So just to make it look fancy. So mm. I this is the first time I'm trying it. The gyoza sauce here, right? This is mm -hmm. like the soy sauce vinaigrette. And also sprinkle with the green onions. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. Oh, oh it's crunchy. I know. Yo, look at this. <laughs> Looks good. The struggle is real. Dip it in the gyoza sauce. Oh, let's see mm -hmm. how it goes. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Oh, man. Mmm. It's like okay. literally bulgogi. Yeah, yeah, you can see it inside mm. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Oh, all right. I'm so glad I went to Costco and had this like stocked up in the fri in the mm -hmm. freezer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd be hungry. Mm oh, I'm sorry, Tofu. You hungry too? You can burn. Mm. Hey, don't spit out your food. Eat your vegetable. There you go, Tofu. Don't be picky. No. <laughs> we all enjoying a meal. Oh man, I need a second piece. So good. Oh Some man, this, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's like so make, simple to make too. Make this for me often. It's so good. The the pancake thingy makes it like really nice texture too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I have a question for you. Uh -huh. If. You were thrown on an island and you were stranded and you can only bring two items with you. What would you bring so they can survive there for an entire month by yourself? Oh man, this is like the, the last conversation with the Migoreng. Yeah. Mm. So, hmm. Instead of bringing people with you, you can no, bring, bring tools items. or tools. items, yeah. For survival. 
Okay, uh, first off, this island, I'm gonna assume it's tropical, right? Yeah. So it's got like sun and all that kind of stuff. and Beach and stuff like that. Okay, okay. And greens. I would bring with me an axe or like a hatchet. Because yeah. I watched a whole bunch of other survival shows before and they all always bring one of those like hatchets or like a, a tool to cut stuff with. Mm. Yeah, my only experience with like a, an axe is, is, is axe throwing. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even hit the target, man. I don't even know if I'd be able to defend myself. Wait, you don't, probably don't want to throw your only weapon away. <laughs> well, what if there's people? What if there's like like monsters and, and stuff on this island? I like wait, monsters. Wait, okay. is, this, is this like an isekai island? Anything could happen. Oh. Okay, hmm, that changes but, the game. But if you like throw an axe at the monster, what if he runs away? And then you have no axe anymore. Okay. Well, you didn't throw hard enough then. Yeah, you didn't throw hard enough. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could chase it because like likely it's going to bleed out and then, and then you have food. <laughs> yeah, okay, what would your second item be? Something to make fire so that, you know, you can cook your food. Yeah. And, um... That's important. Stay warm at night. Mm, what are those like flint things that you oh, spray? Oh, like the metal flint things is like um, two tongs and just circle the end and ch -ch -ch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, I really hope there's like palm trees on this. <laughs> but yeah, like there's vegetation on there, yeah, vegetation. Yeah, yeah. Th those are the two things I would bring. You know what I would bring? Mm. Let me guess My phone. Oh, how do you know? <laughs> I hope you have like a, a, a portable solar charger for it. Yeah, it's a solar powered cell phone. Oh, are you just gonna call for help? No, just, I'm like, gonna like take pictures on the island. Oh my god. No selfies. Oh, should I bring my selfie stick? Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, because like. I if... took this question so literally too. Because <laughs> <laughs> like. If you have your phone, you can either call for help or you can Google how to do things like how to start a fire or how to set a trap to hunt things or, you know, how to distill water and be able to have potable water because I don't have any survival skills out in the wilderness. So I would need my phone to like search that up. You know what? That is, that is actually a pretty big brain move. Yeah, because I can't survive on my own, so I'm going to ask for help. I'd be like <laughs> taking a photo, asking fans, like, hey guys, I'm stranded on this island, what should I do? And then people would answer. <laughs> Both on social media. Someone will probably just come look for you. Yeah, they're like, can we like ship over like some instant noodles to you? He's like, yeah, can you like make those little parachute yeah, like Amazon parcels? Over. Yeah, Amazon parcel. Oh, yeah, they can like, they can send like a drone. Can't they? Them. Then I would have food and I would have supplies. I imagine I can still like pay with my account online. So would, no problem. You would, you would do it fashionably. And, yeah. Uh, so I would like have a party on the beach. You would, <laughs> you would vlog the whole thing. I would totally vlog the whole thing. And you know what they call that? What? A vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think you're really stranded. You probably just flew to some island. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me be more specific about my phone. It's a solar powered satellite phone, so I get reception anywhere on Earth. Oh my god. And it can be solar power charge. So I won't have to worry about like the internet cutting out on me and not having connection and yeah. Yeah, it's got like some crazy camera on it too, like wide angle. Yes, and, yes, exactly. And it, it can like portrait mode and blur out the backgrounds for you. I know. So maybe my second item should be my selfie stick then, if I can like get Amazon parcels to come. Because <laughs> what would I? What else would I bring? Like, I wouldn't need to hunt for food or anything, because I can just Amazon like cup noodles and stuff, right? And like chips and snacks and. Okay, if you're stranded, I'm pretty sure there's no service to it. No, remember I have a satellite vacation. phone, so... Yeah, but even if you have a satellite phone, doesn't mean that they can reach you. But what if I just like paid someone to do it for me? Okay, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, they'll find a way. Then you might as well hop on the boat back with That's true, that's true, <laughs> that's true. <laughs>
you. Ah, oh, you know what I really need? Suntan lotion. Sunblock, sorry, not suntan, I don't want to burn. I like have really fair skin, so I really want to have some sort of sunblock so I don't die on this tropical island. Unless I like take like banana tree leaves and like make a poncho to like cover myself in a hat or something. I guess. I thought you'd get like a, an umbrella at first. Umbrella? <clears throat> Yeah, but like then, a parasol. Well, but the thing is, if I can Amazon... you bring one with you everywhere I you go. I know. I know. But, like, if I can only bring another item, I'd rather bring something that I can use to eat, right? Like, like, sunblock? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm like, thirsty. fire starter. Fire starter. This lotion's looking mighty tasty. Okay, you know what? You're right about the umbrella. can use it to block the sun, and when it rains, it can help me collect water. It's a container. See? Yes, See? I can use I, that. I, I totally thought of that. Yeah, totally. So maybe I should bring an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, let me, can we, can I upgrade my phone? It has to be waterproof too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a waterproof satellite solar powered phone. So, uh, so I guess I actually wouldn't mind getting stranded on an island because it's technically a vacation for me with my solar powered, waterproof, and satellite phone that I can use to Amazon things to me and I can have a party on the beach. I like your life and death scenarios. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna ditch my, the scenario I built in my head and in your world. <laughs> yeah, just party and like we can order like sunscreen and, and then we can like, you know, hang out on the beach and play some music and order cup noodles and order all these bunch of spices to like barbecue foods and stuff like that. So good. That sounds like the next location we're going to go to. Yeah, some random island we're going to be stranded on for vacation. Yeah, we'll just bring all our friends with us. <laughs> Do they all be stranded too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's COVID friendly. <laughs> Maintain your distance. Yeah, well, I mean, the island's pretty big, so we can each have a little party spot, like several meters away from each other on the beach. True, yeah. true. What a party. Would you guys want to party on this stranded island with us? <laughs> I would. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's start planning for it then. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well, thanks so much, guys, for uh, listening to us chat about our quarantine island vacation. And thanks so much. Uh, if you like, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel below. And you can also support us by taking a look at our merchandise on our store. Look at all those dumplings. Ooh, dumplings. dumplings. Dim sum. Yeah, tofu's looking too. I know. <laughs> Thank you guys. This is Vicky and Van from Nomstar Food.